if you've watched the last video about this system, um, we were putting a Cyrix processor in and we couldn't get to the jump settings for the bus speed because it's all the way back here. So we're going to have a look at this motherboard in more detail and I'll show you how we're going to do this. If we spin this case around, this sort of baby AT case has a rather useful feature. The motherboard tray doesn't slide out like in some systems, but it does let you remove it from the back. This would have all been easier if I unplugged these earlier. But I thought I might be able to get away with leaving some attached. This is the PC Chips M577 motherboard, also known as an Amptron PM9900. And we have a number of different jumpers we looked at the front side bus well we tried to it's here this is where we can set whether we want 100 megahertz front side bus we've also got 83 75 66 60 and it's also got the uh, pci uh, speed that it runs at so at 100 the pci is at 33 at 83 it's at 33 at 75 it's at 30 66 it's at 33 at 60 it's at 30 then there's also a another 75 where you can run the PCI bus at 37.5 that's all controlled with this we were looking at the CPU voltage which is over here just move this out of the way so the voltage is here and the multiplier is here so what I want to do is actually run this at the recommended rating of 3.5 times 66. I'm going to set this to 66. And then we'll have this at the correct speed. Well, over here you've got um, ATX power connector. Uh, this is the old style AT power connector. Then we've got IDE, two IDE. We've also got a parallel connection which I think is this and this one's floppy and then we've got two serial ports here this is for the USB mouse and infrared connection it's in there and this is for the audio which I'm not using because I'm using an uh, audio PCI card there are these onboard connectors for the CD-ROM audio cable. Um, if we were using the onboard audio, Got two ISO slots here. This is a sound chip. There's also a jumper here for the memory voltage and a jumper here. This is for setting whether you've got a single voltage processor, such as an older Pentium or a dual voltage processor such as these more modern ones this is the bias chip it's got a three pin fan header here and a button battery here this would have been where you would have had 72 pin ram slots but they switched to sd ram and now let's just have a look what i need for 66 These pliers are big. <laughs> so 
So once you've got everything set up how you want it, you can and then put this back in somehow. And it simply sort of E just about fits. It's quite a tight squeeze as you can see. And if I was doing this again, I might take this drive out and just leave the top one in. But I'll do that another day. Here we are back up and running and we have this system working. It's got the right um, processor type speed set there. And this motherboard's actually got a one megabyte cache on the motherboard, which is quite nice. <laughs> 